Hey everybody, welcome back. Most of you know us, but for those of you who don't, I'm Sylvia, I'm a boss babe, and I'm Courtney, I'm a proud mom and a growth influencer, and together we're side by side. side. By side. <laughs> we're going to hear the wrong. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a great day, and welcome to our book review for today. Um, it is going to be on the growth mindset. So before we get started, Courtney is just going to um, go ahead and go over about um, some background on the authors of this great book. Thank you, Sylvia. If you ever want to experience personal and professional growth, but haven't been able to find a practical way to develop and implement this virtual knowledge, this book gives you the inside track information that you've been searching for. Written by a personal growth researcher and a life coach, this book bridges the gaps between personal and professional growth. Here are some um, insightful growth strategies you'll find in this book. And I'm going to read this because it's I listed it out. The balancing act of personal growth, growing your career to its maximum potential, being lonely versus being alone, how personality affects growth development, networking versus collaboration, social and soft skills development. Are you ready to make your dreams come true? Here you, here's a great way of learning professional and personal growth. Everybody, I hope everybody out there is too. So, um, and we totally get it. We're all on the same page. Now, Courtney, I have a question for you. Okay. And, you know, a lot of people probably relate to this. When you started your business, um, did you ever feel disconnected, you know, with the, your life at that, at that time or your personal profession? I, I sure did. Uh, when Wayne and I started the other company that Sylvia and I are part of, I was only 23 years old. And my background at that time was fast food industry. Mm -hmm. um, coming from a fast food industry to a business development um, industry or business um, minded people was very intimidating. I didn't have the personal um, development. I didn't have the confidence. I didn't have any of that. But over the years, by reading books and, and developing my confidence, it's really helped. So yes, this, this book is great. And no, I did not have any of that when I started out. Oh, nice. And I agree with her. I had the same thing, you know, when I, when I started um, the business, it's, you know, you're not sure, you don't know, you know, what's going on. You don't know if it's going to fly, you know, all those things. We, we all feel the same. You're not alone. So that's why I wanted Courtney to share her um, experience when she had that as well. So as I started reading this book, um, again, I really liked it. And I was, um, I liked the, the beginning right away. It starts with where it says um, that this book guarantees to be different from all other self-help books. So I'm going to put you guys all on the spot. Go ahead and take this book to the test and see if it does do that for you because they, they say it right up front. So I really like that. And, you know, go ahead and try it on, see if they could do that. So in this book, like I said, I really liked it. They have so many nuggets. Okay. I'm just going to go over a few because there were, there were really a lot that I liked. And um, let me see. The first thing that jumped out to me was the fact that they say that this book is, um, a holistic book. So Courtney, you know, what does that mean to you? Um, holistic approach is um, just being, I don't know, I, I, I hear it. And why don't you explain it more? Because I'm kind of at loss for words on this one. Okay, so again, you know, this really opened my eyes. I was like, Oh, what do, what do they mean by that? So what holistic means, it's actually a medical term, okay, for treatment of a whole person taking into consideration the effect of mental and social factors versus just diagnosing based on symptoms of the disease. So, you know, instead of um, doing something like instead of eating fresh fruit, the doctor will say, take a pill. See the difference? Mm -hmm. So I really resonated with that because I do use um, a holistic um with my food, with my lifestyle, you know, I try to use it as much as I can. So I really like that. And I hope that you, know, you guys um, resonate with that as well. Now, they also talk about a roadmap. 
I think that's great. A lot of people don't know where they're going. I, I like to write everything down. I know Courtney does too, but sometimes you just need to see where you're going. So that's really helpful as well. And it also asks you, where are you at this moment? To be honest, how do you feel presently? Because that's going to help you with your roadmap on where you want to be like, you know, two years from now, five years from now. So they also suggest that you take a personality test. That way you can see where you're at. Now, they, they mentioned that there's a lot of them online. They recommend one that is called um, the Myers-Briggs test. I think uh, Courtney's familiar with that one. I'm familiar, a little familiar with that one, but there's also other ones that you guys can look into. Uh, one is the Enneagram. And the second one is the DISC personality one. And the DISC personality is basically based on um, four qualities, the D, I, S, and C. And um, also it teaches you on other people's personality and how to communicate with others. But the Briggs Myers is more based on what your personality is. Okay. And I thought that was um, a good tip because, you know, a lot of people pay for this type of information, you know, like, Absolutely. and it's not cheap. It's, it, these people get paid good money. So when I, you know, I saw that free online, I just wanted to mention it for you guys. So you can go ahead and see for yourself. I'll go ahead and leave a link of the, the Myers-Briggs test, um, another one. And um, that way you guys could go ahead and do your own research and take your own test. You know, sometimes people are surprised on what, what, they, what the result is. And also Sylvia, when, when you do learn your personality and you're able to kind of pick, start picking up other pe people's personality, it helps con your communication, your business, communication mm -hmm. with friendship, it's just knowing who they are and you'll be able to communicate to their personality makes all the worlds of difference. So let's give a quick, ex a little example then. Okay. Um, I, we're talking and you're learning my personality. Um, how would you, once you find out what my personality is, what would you do as far as my, the way I talk, uh, my body movements? I would mirror, be able to mirror you, like the excitement level and stuff. It's like, because you're really a bubbly, bubbly person and the personality test, the personality that I um, work with, uh, you're a high eye. You, 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 you're like, life of the party, let's, let's have fun, let's go dance, let's <laughs> I <I'm> just- Smile <laughs> with everything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so when you speak with people and learning, some people who are more to mirror, like really like direct, you just, you just mirror their body language and they get comfortable with you because then they won't be like this, so guarded and mm -hmm. like, who are you? But when you mirror their body language, it makes a world of difference. Right, and that's why these tests or these type of lessons help you to recognize that. So with that, I could do the same with Courtney because she's more on the quiet side. So of course, I'm not gonna jump out at her. I do anyway, but <laughs> if I didn't know her, I wouldn't jump at her. <laughs> Cause she'd be like, you're nuts, get away from me. So I, I could see she's more, you know, more uh, relaxed. So then I would obviously bring it down a, a notch or two to match her. So that way you guys can see how you can use that and why it's important that you should learn other people's personality because not everyone is like you. Yeah. And I hope that makes sense to everybody because it's going to really serve you in the long run. Yes, it definitely does. with everybody that you meet because you're constantly meeting new people. So that's a, a, you know, another great tip that we got from this book. And they're also talking about investing in yourself. Courtney and I are always preaching to you guys. You're number one, take care of yourself and invest in yourself because you are the biggest investment. It's you. So Absolutely. they they talk about that as well. And I really like how at the end of each chapter, they give you homework. That's smart because you know, a lot of people read something, they don't retain it. So right away when you finish with your chapter, you read, you do your homework, that way you can retain it. And then you can go back at another time and review it. I really like that. And I think that's so helpful for people who are trying to learn all these things that they, they have no idea. And when oh. people have coaches, they give you homework. So this is a mm -hmm. coach, but it's doing it through a book. Exactly. That's why I'm saying it's like this really gives you an, an upper hand. Yes. But not not in an expensive way. Absolutely. Which, you know, it helps when everybody's, you know, just starting out. You know, everybody watches, you know, what they're spending and so forth. And then again, like I said, there's so many things in this little book. Um, they also talk about peer reality. 
So do you, do you, are you, do you know what that is, Courtney? How, what they're talking about, pure reality? I read the book and I can't remember it. Okay, so just really quickly, this would be like if you had an eight to five job. And um, these are talking about people you work with, people above you and below you. So the same thing, you're going to apply your personality traits um, to mirror them to, you know, um, if you're a manager, you don't want to be mean and demean the people below you, or you don't want to act cocky to the people above you. So there's a lot of stuff involved, even, you know, if you don't have your own business, if you just work in the corporate, you know, you have all these factors as well. So I yeah. love that. They talk about boss types, which is awesome because <laughs> then you know how to deal with your boss because there's more than one type boss. Um, they talk about the difference between being lonely and being alone. So Courtney, what's your take on that one? Being lonely is where you miss companionship. And you're just like full-time moms. I'll give you an instant for that. When you have little ones around, you get lonely. Even though you got them around, you're lonely because you don't have that conversation. But being alone is meaning is you're taking care of you. You're reading, you're either doing your nails, you're taking time out for you. So those are the two difference between lonely and alone. Yes. And I think a lot of people get those two confused because they're, they sound obviously very similar, but they're very different. So that I think is great to mention that because, you know, you never know what somebody's going through. And if you could, you know, find out what's the difference, you would handle things differently, right? Absolutely. So I really like that as well. And then another thing, which I really love is they talk about networking. Now, Courtney, both her and I both know networking. I mean, that was the thing to do in the 90s, in the 20s, in the, in the 80s, 2000s, sorry, not the 20s, <laughs> nobody was there. <laughs> but um, that was the thing to do, networking. Everybody network for your business. Now, um, so that's totally outdated. And I agree with that 100%. Yeah. So what they talk about is collaborating. I love that. You know, what's your take on that, Courtney? Well, let me give you an instance. You two, um, two channels will collaborate with each other. It could be a cleaning channel and they'll help each other with their subscribers saying, hey, go check out this person. She's really mm -hmm. good. You would like her. And please subscribe if you like her. And please let her know I sent you there so she knows that it came from your channel so she has an idea of oh okay i'm getting more people because of her or business channels um for some example one coach might ask you hey can you come talk on my channel on my youtube and i will go talk to you on your channel on youtube you help each other out so that's mm -hmm. collaboration and it really does it it's a game changer now will it make things easier in network marketing no I mean, yes, but you still have to work. You still have to work at it. It's not just going to come, mm -hmm. go, oh, okay, I'm going to make my money really quick and all that with collaborate. No, it takes work, but it's a lot easier than it used to be because when it used to be. Getting, Anybody remember the pager? Pagers? You know, getting numbers and yeah, you're hoping they'll call you the, back. The infamous phrase, give me your business card. Can I have your business card? Do you have well, a business card? Let me give you my business card. And how did that, how did all those business cards end up? Uh huh. <laughs> this business card folder. Like, really? If you guys I remember that, you just have a shoebox at them. You just Dude. throw them in the shoebox. Here we go. Exactly. And then you go sit down. That get was ready, networking. And go, okay, we we're going to call. Old fashioned networking. That was it. Now it's so much more fresh and personable. I absolutely love the change. I do because I think I really do agree that networking is outdated. Yes. I mean, I agree too. just in general. So, you know, they talk about that as well. So I, I just, wow. I was like, wow, this book is great. You know, they have all these, these good. And like I said, that's just a few, there's a whole bunch of it. And the book isn't that big, mm -hmm. but it goes through a lot of things that are going to help you, you know, and it um, literally reminds us that, you know, that we're always students. We're students for life is how they call it. And I like that because it's true. We're always learning. We're always reading, um, trying to do our best and so forth, you know, to try to succeed with our business. Or, you know, if you have a corporate job as well, if you want to succeed in your, your corporate life as well. But it's all about, you know, the reading, the learning, 
the being present, knowing what you want, what your goals are. I mean, there's a lot of factors involved once you once you get involved with that, you know, and just remember, guys, you know, we're not here to struggle at all. You know, we're here to live in abundance, thrive, enjoy, create, support and shine all of us. So Absolutely. that's what Courtney and I love doing. We love right. um, helping to help everybody shine. Definitely. And like I said, you know, um, we left uh, a link below on where to buy the book. I put the one for the second edition. That's the one that has the homework. The first one doesn't. Um, it's up to you what you want to get, but I, I really like the one with the homework. I think um, that one's um, better so you can retain information as far as the book goes. Um, let me see here. Um, and then again, you know, you guys always remember, always be intentional with, you know, your behavior because everything is subject to change. So intent is everything. Same positive, you know, good vibes out there. Um, that way you can have a successful business. Um, anything, Courtney? Um, yeah. We look forward to for you to leave a comment down below on how this video has helped you. Or if you have any questions regarding the topic, also let us know in the comments if you were able, if you would like to see more of these content types of video. Give this video a thumbs up, and this will let us know that it provided value to you. Again. We're open to suggestions and we would like um, that you would like to talk about it and let's grow together. Yeah, everybody, you know, and just stop by and say hi. You know, we want to meet you and know how you're doing and let us know if anything that we share with you guys is working for you or if it's not working for you. We want to hear this because, you know, that way we all can grow together. And, um, you know, we just, like I said, say hi, whatever. It, it's good. We look forward to that. We're, you know, we yep. want to um, know how we're providing information out there for you guys and how much you guys are using it. Um, and I know it's a lot of content, but there's a lot to know. <laughs> so we just, we just want to help you guys that way you can succeed. So hopefully we'll hear from you, so, you know, sometime. But with that being said, um, until next time, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us and um, have a wonderful day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.